Uh, I mean, you know, I think it was more emotional for him than us, uh, uh, only because, uh, you know, he's not done yet. So, <laughs> uh, and I won't explain what that means, but uh, the audience will soon understand what I'm talking about. I think it's, uh, you know, I think people were surprised. Uh, I think some people were upset. Um, but um, again, I think uh, it's our job as storytellers to surprise them and to make difficult choices in the storytelling. Uh, these stories are reflective of how my brother and I feel about life and the way that we see things. And, you know, Winter Soldier, we, we you know, took a shield and turned it into Hydra. And with Civil War, we took two leads of the Marvel Universe and pit them against each other. And in uh, Infinity War, we killed half the Marvel Universe. So, you know, for us, it's, it's, it really is about w in what ways can we surprise the audience and tell a very challenging story that we think is reflective of, of, of life. We're about halfway through the editorial process. It's standing at around three hours right now. Uh, it's a very complicated movie. Uh, there's a lot of characters in it. Uh, um, and, uh, you know, it's, um, uh, we're putting in the work. So we'll, we'll see where it ends up. But uh, it, it, it definitely has a lot of story in it. I don't know. I think there could, it could be a, a little bit of time. I know that, you know, with the integration of Fox now and all the Fox characters, it seems like, uh, you know, we, I haven't talked directly to Kevin about it, so I don't know what his plans are, but you know, my guess would be that there, there'd be a little bit of time to integrate some of the other characters and, and, uh, and, and you know, take their time doing that. Damn, that Avengers 4 intro took me back to before the Endgame movie came out and before we had so much hope. The Avengers Endgame was going to be great. Don't get me wrong, guys. It was good, but it was nowhere near as good as Infinity War. So the Russo brothers have been teasing Secret Wars again. Battleground. The heroes versus villains. They have been teasing it. Or are they just trying to keep themselves relevant? We don't know, but they've been teasing it multiple times, and quite recently, they teased it again on BroBible.com. I know that website seems quite ridiculous, but it, it was an interview with them. So, if you are new around here, guys, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos at the 100,000 subscribe mark. I will be giving away something pretty darn cool. So, make sure to subscribe, turn notifications on so the channel grows, and so more people can see this video. So, as we said in the monologue, in the prequel, in the prologue, this isn't the first time that Russo's have expressed interest in directing the Secret Wars adaptation from the comic book. Because alongside the clip I played at the start of the video, during a fan Q&A back in 2018, Joe Russo was asked what the future of the MCU is going to be. And Joe was like, I don't know, Joe Russo said. I think Kevin Feige Marvel Studios has always had a plan in his head. Or have they? Or do they just make these Easter eggs up as they go along? But he is all ready to throw out the plan and adjust the plan because you never know how the movies are going to turn out. You want to make sure each movie in front of you is as good as a movie. And if you're thinking about the past movie, then you're not focusing all your energy on the movie that is in front of you. Guys, I don't script videos. I've got talent, so I don't script videos. I just roll with it. So something on them lines. So only time will tell if Russo Brothers step back into the ring to direct another Marvel movie, Juggersonic movie, which would be cool. So, the directors are still very connected to the MCU, just recently producing the latest hand-to-hand -hand combat with Extraction with Chris Hemsworth's Thor on Netflix, which is actually the most viewed movie recently in Netflix history. But it's a bit unfair because all the world, world is off work currently, so it's a bit unfair, to be honest. And then they will be directing a different movie with Tom Holland, Spider-Man, in a movie called Cherry or something like that does come out. So it is interesting that they have been teasing Secret Wars. A lot of people seem to think Avengers 4 will be Secret Wars as ever since they revealed 
that Marvel now owns Fox. Every person under the sun seems to think that X-Men, the Fantastic Four, Galactus, the Beyond of the War stew will all be going up and up against the Great One. So as the Russo Bros recently had a conversation about the adaptation of Marvel Comics storyline, Secret Wars, they had this to say. You know, I read that when I was 10 or 11. And it was the scale of getting all these heroes together. It was one of the first major books to do that. That was really event storytelling. To me, at its finest. And what happens, you put all these personalities together. Joe Russo explained. I also like the idea of villains having to team up with heroes. Anthony and I like complicated relationships between heroes and super villains or villains we like villains who believe their heroes in their own story so it's all sort of built into the notion of secret wars to execute something on the scale of infinity war which i absolutely love that is one of my favorite movies was directly related to the dreams of secret wars which is an even larger scale so we know at some point this this is going to happen and before this we read the quotation from what he said during a Q&A panel about how Kevin Feige and everything's always building up to something. So it's not a case of is Secret Wars going to happen? It's just a case of when is it going to happen? You know, the heroes and villains teaming up to on Battle World. It's a savage storyline, massive comic book arc, which span over nine issues, or at least one, one alliteration did. So if you haven't picked any of the Secret Wars up, the storyline is pretty basic, but... To its own right, everyone wants Secret Wars. A lot of people seem to think that Avengers 5 will be Secret Wars. You've even got the likes of Boss Logic making fan work based on comments that the Russos recently just said. But to get to the point where it's Secret Wars is absolutely insane. Because like as we said in the prologue, guys, it literally involves Silver Surfer, Doctor Doom, Beyond the War, Stu Galactus... Magneto, literally every single superhero you can possibly think of. So we will be getting Secret Wars at some point, as well as Dark Avengers. The Marvel Cinematic Universe going forward is very cool, but at the moment, the world's in a really weird place. The Marvel Universe and everything else ends during the Secret Wars, and it involves absolutely everyone. You know, the likes of Star-Lord, Carol Danvers, Miles Morales, Jane Foster, The Thing... X-Men, Fantastic Four, Apps, The Monocle Man, Thanos, Thor, Namor, The Maker, Black Swan, Black Panther, Mr. Incredible, and Fantastic Woman, Doctor Doom, and literally anyone. So in order to do this, they have to introduce all these other characters chronologically first. We can't just skip straight to Secret Wars. Although that would be pretty cool, guys. It's not going to happen, but there have been teasers every single place with people wanting the russo bros back to direct it and i can understand the way they did it i personally loved infinity war but i felt like endgame was a massive letdown i know what you guys are gonna say down below but war stew you could have done better i'm not a director so the pre basic premise of secret wars is it's a massive collision on marvel 616 universe and ultimate marvel 1610 universe which destroys both pieces to two universe mystery save and combined with other post collusion universe is creating battle world so essentially it, it all evolves around the concept of battle world which we've done multiple videos on before like i said guys at the moment we're trying to do more factual based story because they're, they're like until the movie starts shooting again and until this black widow movie comes out if it ever is gonna come out i don't know if it is but essentially battle world is a planet that the powerful beyond are created from parts of other planets original purpose was to host battle of the good and evil with various superheroes and super villains representing each side a massive fight and it would probably have to be part of a trilogy because the scale is so much bigger bro than Endgame or infinity war it'd have to be probably be broken down into three or four movies it's something they couldn't do like in one movie so to speak well, well they could but they'd butcher it because there's just too much moving parts to it that have to introduce so many marvel characters that the general audience that don't watch these kind of videos would get confused with what is going on so the russos keep teasing it is secret wars gonna happen for sure it's definitely 
definitely going to happen. It, it's just a case of when is it going to happen. They keep teasing Battle World. Battle World is coming. But we don't know when it's coming. So guys, let me know down below. Do you want this storyline? Do you want the Russo brothers back? I don't know. I, I personally think they're okay, but I would prefer different directors to come in. But apparently the Russo bros are making a comeback. It does sound like they have had discussions, although they said they haven't had discussions. To me, personally, it sounds like they have had some vindication conversations already. But I think we're talking four or five years down the road, especially what's going on in the world at the moment. It doesn't look like we're going to get any Marvel content in the sense of movie or TV shows to sometime next year because one division's being delayed till next year. But I'm not going to make a video just based on that. Black Widow is delayed again till November. But like I said, the, 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 the theatres are not really opening. But I don't like to make videos based on nothing. So I think we're at least five years away, 2025, 26, away from Secret Wars. I think we will get like a Young Avengers before Secret Wars. I hope Secret Wars is technically Avengers 5. But I just thought I bought a short video out here, guys. So like always, please like, subscribe, and comment. They are massive fans of Secret War. As they said, it was one of the first comic book arcs they've read. And with everything they've introduced in the Captain Marvel universe franchise and you know, with the scroll, the ending of Spider-Man Far From Home, with Sword and everything, it does look like they are definitely going that way. But they've got to introduce a lot of different characters before we get anywhere near that. We've got Shang-Chi to see, Doctor Strange, Multiverse, Into the Madness, or something like that. I can't remember exactly what title it is because I do this off the cuff. But let me know, guys. Should you script videos or shouldn't you script videos? Should you do it off the cuff? Or should you be monologue? and read a script like a boring robot. I don't know, guys. Just any constructive criticism would be great. So like always, guys, I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later. Peace.